Oh, how the mighty have fallen. The New England Patriots were projected to finish dead last in the AFC East this season. They were also expected to be one of the league's worst teams, but so far it hasn't really panned out. The Patriots are 1-1 one one straight up, 2-0 and against the spread, and they're getting 6.5 points at the Jets on Thursday night football. Is that too many points in a division rivalry game? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get $100 off any college and NFL full season package from any handicapper of your choice using the promo code FBALL100. Of course, that's available for any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com. I recommend this guy right here. But as always, no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Now let's get into it. The Jets are a six and a half point favorite. The total sits at 38 and a half. That is a really low number, but when you look at the previous history between these teams, it would appear to be justified. 17 to 3, 15 to 10, 10 to 3. Those are the final scores in the last three head to head meetings. Uh, I mentioned the point spread being a little bit inflated, or at least at first glance. Uh, the Patriots won outright week one on the road by a score of 16 to 10 at Cincinnati. And then last week, they lose in overtime by a score of 23 to 20 to the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, everything we've seen from this New England team would support taking them as a six and a half point dog. But let's look at the New York Jets. Of course, very disappointing in week one at San Francisco. I had the Jets in that game, and uh, they looked like a team that wasn't ready to play. They didn't show up, but they bounced back with a win at Tennessee last week. So they could be trending in the right direction. But when you look deeper into the numbers uh, in that win over Tennessee, you see that the Titans outgained the Jets 300 and 265 in total yards. The Titans also had an edge in first downs, 20 to 16. Uh, the box score would indicate that it wasn't the play of the New York Jets that allowed them to win that game. It was the two turnovers by the Tennessee Titans. So, so far in my analysis of this game, that six and a half points is looking awful tempting. Problem is you look at the injury report and you see that Patriots offensive line, everybody is listed as questionable. A couple guys left the game against the Seahawks with an injury and didn't, didn't return. I don't know how many guys are going to come back and play, uh, but it's extremely concerning. And the biggest concern is the starting center, David Andrews, is one of those uh, questionable to play for this game. It is a short week. Surely some of those guys aren't going to be able to suit up. And uh, the starting center, questionable. The backup center is already on the IR. Does that mean they're going to have to bring in some rookie or somebody off the practice squad to play center? That could be a complete disaster against a Jets team that hasn't lived up to expectations, but in all the preseason rankings, they were supposed to have a uh, very, very uh, top, top end offensive and defensive line. Um, yeah, recipe for a disaster. There's no way I can take New England plus the points with those question marks on the offensive line. So we're going to look at the total. We're going to look at the team total for the New England Patriots. Uh, under 16 and a half points uh, with the question marks on the offensive line with the history between these two teams. Let me repeat those final scores of the last three games again, 17 to three, 15 to 10, 10 to three. Of course, Aaron Rodgers wasn't playing in any of those games, but Aaron Rodgers isn't playing for New England either. So uh, New England team total under 16 and a half. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, Hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.